Autophagy has been something that has been pivotal on my weight loss journey. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you how autophagy benefits weight loss, the benefits of autophagy overall, how to get into autophagy and how to trigger autophagy and the definition of autophagy. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Diela Joy and I've lost over 110 pounds on my weight loss journey. I lost the majority of my weight using this method to put myself in autophagy known as one meal a day, which is just fasting for 20 hours a day and eating within a four hour eating window. It's a form of time restricted eating. I use it as a tool to help me restrict binge eating. And it helped me restrict binge eating, not only on the mental side, but the physiological side. And I'm going to get into that today because autophagy is a tool to help you restrict binge eating. I made this transformation with one meal a day, and this is my overall weight loss transformation as I started at 282 pounds. So let's jump right into it. What the hell is autophagy? Autophagy is a process where our cells break down old damage cell compartments and organelles and repurposes the destruction of these cells and organelles to rebuilding new. So it's basically a process where you're breaking down the old to build the new. Autophagy is triggered by hermetic stress, which is a low level of stress that allows our body to become stronger. An example of a hermetic stress is fasting. Another example of a hermetic stress is exercising, building muscle, breaking the muscle down to build it up anew, stronger, and powerful. I'm going to talk about ways that you can trigger autophagy. Now, the number one way to trigger autophagy is through fasting. However, there are other ways you can do it. So through intermittent fasting and fasting. Autophagy gets triggered at 17 hours of fasting. So that's no food, no sugar, no nothing. And it maxes out at 72 hours of fasting fasting. Fasting is probably the most effective way to get yourself into autophagy. And the longer you fast, the more intense your autophagy is. And then it maxes out at 72 hours. Autophagy helps to decrease the amount of cellular damage that leads to inflammation. So it helps to reduce inflammation. Autophagy also has some anti-aging effects. It helps to reduce aging by eliminating aged component of the cell, keeping the cells younger and vibrant, and weight loss. Autophagy helps with weight loss by indirectly repairing organelles and parts of the cell that are involved in fat burning, like the mitochondria. It helps to repair the ribosomes, which is the part of the cell that is involved in protein synthesis. It helps to make the cell stronger. So when you put yourself in a state of autophagy through fasting, you put yourself in a state of healing. And being obese or having really resistant weight loss is a consequence of metabolic syndrome, where your metabolism is dysfunctioning. What autophagy does, it helps to correct that metabolic dysfunction through the power of getting rid of anything that will slow down the cell. It does that in multiple ways, and it's going to help you on your weight loss journey in that sense. It doesn't directly break down fast, but it helps to support the organs that, or the cell components that help you to break down fat. So weight loss and obesity, it's a problem. It's a hormonal issue. Autophagy also helps to regulate hormonal hormones, which is key. So it does so many things that will aid in your weight loss journey. And obviously, if you're fasting and in autophagy, you're obviously going to be in ketosis as well, which is a process of fat burning. So autophagy helps the liver repair itself and it helps the liver produce ketones. So that's another way that autophagy is involved in the weight loss story. So if it helps to repair the liver, the number one fat burning organ. It's obviously going to help you overall on your weight loss journey. And if you're not on a weight loss journey, it's going to help with overall health. It's also going to help with building muscle as well. Post fast when you take advantage of the mTOR pathway. So autophagy helps to spike mTOR, which is a molecule that is involved in the synthesis of muscles. And when you come off a fast and you protein load and you keep yourself in autophagy by eating 20 grams of protein throughout the day, 
you can help rebuild muscle. Or if you protein load in a way that you're eating 20 grams of protein four to five times a day, and you're taking advantage of that mTOR pathway, obviously you're going to need to work out as well. You don't just eat the protein without working out. So you basically break your fast with some protein, go to the gym, and then load on protein afterwards in terms of your fast. Autophagy helps to combat oxidative stress. So oxidative stress is a condition where in our body we have more free radicals than we do antioxidants. That's why it's so important to eat your colorful foods because that's antioxidants. So when you have more free radicals and you do antioxidants, free radicals are very damaging to the cell and they cause oxidative stress. And having more free radicals in your cells is related to chronic illnesses, uh, chronic conditions, and cancer because free radicals can harm DNA. This is where autophagy has its cancer fighting power in that autophagy helps to reduce oxidative stress. Autophagy helps to promote the immune system by improving the overall function of the cell. So when you go through a process of autophagy, it helps to rejuvenate all components of the cell. So that includes components that make proteins, components that is involved in fat loss, and components that is involved in the overall immune system response. Autophagy helps to fight chronic disease. Chronic diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, obesity, type 2 diabetes is all related to metabolic dysfunction. So autophagy in its overall effect helps to improve the metabolic function of the cell, which therefore will help to combat chronic diseases and improve overall health. Autophagy is great for balancing hormonal health and weight loss is a hormonal system. People need to understand that. It is hormonal because when we eat food, we trigger a bunch of hormones in our body. And when our hormonal system is off, it's obviously going to mess up our set point weight, mess up our ability to lose weight. Now I want to get into ways that you can trigger autophagy. Number one, you can trigger autophagy through heat stress. So things like dry saunas are very good for triggering autophagy because autophagy is triggered in a state of hermetic stress, which is a low level point of stress where our body is forced to adapt to that. And in the way that our body adapts to these stresses is that it improves its overall function and its overall ability to handle those stresses. So dry saunas are really good for that, especially infrared saunas, because infrared saunas really go deep in targeting heat within our cells. Another way to induce autophagy is through exercise. Exercise, again, is a form of hermetic stress where you're breaking down muscle and you're rebuilding it stronger than ever. So autophagy is triggered through exercise. Autophagy is triggered through acupuncture. This is something I just learned because I've used acupuncture and dry needling on my journey to help recover from my car accident while I was making this transformation on one meal a day. So acupuncture has a way to increase autophagy, probably through the puncture of the needle going in. And, you know, there's like a small sense of like damage there. So there's repair and that repair triggers autophagy. Sleep triggers autophagy, of course, because when you sleep, you're in a state of healing. And the keto diet triggers autophagy. Why does the keto diet trigger autophagy? Because when you are on the keto diet, you're burning fat for fuel. So you're basically using your own body's resources. Resources. So when your body is at a state where it has to use its own resources, that is what triggers autophagy. And another way you can trigger autophagy is through a caloric deficit. The body makes up for the lack of calories by autophagy, breaking down damaged proteins, damaged old cell organelles, and using that as fuel. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. This video was very interesting to research. So cool that acupuncture triggers autophagy. So cool that dry saunas trigger autophagy. And I love to go into my dry sauna at the gym post-workout and just con to continue that autophagy. So if you made it this far into the video, just drop in the word healing because we are healing our bodies. And I'm sending you mad love. Take care. Bye.